the 2011 Ford Super Duty that I picked up this summer. Uh, this running board was broken. Uh, I've got my VIN number and stuff. I'm going to Ford dealer to see if I can pick one up. I have hit these spots with some uh, with a grinding wheel and rust killed them. Same way how this door is pretty clean anyway, but there was a couple little tiny spots. Uh, the back of the door got dinged, must be at one time. It's, uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll be, or I will be, um, I'm going to lightly scuff that. And uh, I'll be using this rock guard on it. And once that dries, I'll spray it back to uh, the factory color and then I'll clear it. So the inside of the door, I, uh, I scuffed all in and I killed it with rust killer. I don't know what I use. I uh, got a buddy who gave me a bunch of rust killing stuff one time. <clears throat> this works pretty good. It's getting thin in the bottle I'm using. Uh, I don't even know what kind it is. Does it say anything? Rust converter. So that's what I've been using. And while I was cleaning up the box, uh, I found a pinhole over here and I went to sanding on it to grind it and, oops. So, take a new piece of metal. Let's see if I can get this. So I'll be putting this in here. I'll weld that in. I'm gonna spray it with weld through primer first. And then I will, uh, I'll put that in and then I'll undercoat it. I kind of cleaned up under where the wheel wells go and used a uh, bed liner on it. I don't know if you can see it better over here. Yeah. So it already had some undercoating on it from the factory where it was put on. That's a little bit flaky, I'm gonna clean that up and then I will scrape that down and paint that. Uh, I got a little over spray from the, uh, and all I'm using is the same, same color dupla color, but it's a uh, truck bed. I've used that a lot. Uh, I just wanna make sure that the color, uh, the dupla color is paintable. And I'm pretty sure it is, I've used it before, but if not, I think I still have some, uh, I still have some of the 404 Stone Guard, that is paintable. And uh, so right now it's rust killed. It's been 24 hours, but it's still a little damp. It's very cold out. I haven't had the heat on. I turned the heat on tonight. I got it up to well, a little over 70 in here. So it's been very damp. The building's been damp. So. Yeah, so I got to get that. Got bird crap all over the truck. So, uh, I don't know if I've gone through all the stuff I've done on it. I've added new mud flaps, uh, which really makes it run better. Um, changed out the shocks, installed all four new shocks on it. Cleaned up the interior. I'm going to get some car seat covers for the truck seat covers for that. The seats are in good shape. They just ripped. I don't know if I could probably sew this. I'm not very, I never was very good in home ec, but there's a lot of material here. I might be able to just sew this up. I may try it. A little fabric shop and get some needles and some a uh, little bit thicker thread. Uh, what else have I done to it? Uh, flush the heater core, new water pump. Um, what else have we done to it? I, oh yeah, I took got rid of the uh, cold air intake. Uh, that was on it. it was a BBK, and I uh, uh, I put back the ra regular fact stock box on it. Of course, all new tires. These are uh, I use these on all my trucks. A lot of people will have their favorite brand. Um, I have the Cooper, and these are Snow Claws. These trucks primarily just uh, uh, plow snow, so they don't get me miles. Maybe this truck will get about maybe four thousand miles a year. Tires are gonna rot off it before they uh, before they go bald. Also put that front muffler in it. It had a leak on it. It was making a funny sound all the time. If I can make that sound. 
Oh yeah. Rotors and brakes for everybody. Uh, the red truck I showed you outside, that's got all new rotors and brakes on it. Wheel bearing. The silver truck, all brand new brakes all the way around and full service before it left. And uh, of course it didn't go very far, but it's, uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll take the wire brush and I'll wire brush this and I'll rust kill it and then I will uh, primer it and then uh, paint it. Uh, if I get time, I'd like to paint the bottom of that box with a roller to keep uh, it from rusting through. A uh, good coat of paint will shed a lot of salt off it. Of course, it's going to have a sander in it. So here I'm at five minutes. I'm trying to keep these shorter. I watch my views. A lot of people watch me about three, four minutes and then they check out. <laughs> I can't blame them. So, uh, yeah, this side's the same way. It's going to be stone guard on the bottom. And uh, I came up three inches all the way around. And that'll keep them from uh, getting those chips that are going to start rusting it out. I'm going to look for a new front bumper. This one's got a Huey there, Dewey Louie in the front. Or what do they call them? Whiskey Dent. So uh, I'll see if I can find one in the boneyard this spring. Maybe I'll uh, upgrade to a uh, chrome grill and uh, front bumper just because we want to polish more stuff okay again thanks for subscribing um, all the comments are great uh, sorry I've been around to do so much on the videos been hectic at work and uh, some stuff going on hey, hey well we could do another video we could do three four let's do another one right uh, am I going to stop here? I'll keep going for a minute. Trust me, it's well worth staying. Picked up a Craftsman for an eight-foot door. Going to take the, uh, which I didn't realize that all I needed to buy was just a Chamberlain uh, extension for an eight-foot door. It fits all the Craftsman and Chamberlain. Chain drive, didn't know that. But I got another one coming, so I'll lengthen that other one. I'll put it on the other door over here. Put in the uh, wash bay. Uh, I'm going to lengthen that to uh, to uh, the eight foot, so it goes up all the way. So I can put this truck with a standard through that. It's a eight foot high, ten foot wide door, and that's what I, I need. Uh, uh, the seven foot door she just won't clear. Eight foot door clears by three inches, so I need that extra three inches. You needed that three inches. So some more changes. I'll bring you up on a couple videos and what we're doing with equipment and what's going on. Um, Slowly hot rods away, if you notice the pile of crap I've had in the corner, oh, sorry, engines and transmissions and stuff, have been relocated uh, out here. Let's see, I'll, do, I'll give you a video out in the other building. So the uh, 03 GT's in here, the 66. Uh, long box is in here. And there's the motor. Oh boy, it's dark in here. Trust me, there's a 280, uh, excuse me, five liter. And a five speed that's going in that uh, 50 Willys pickup. And there is a 289 uh, out of a 2 plus 2 Mustang that uh, I purchased after the car caught fire and burned, the uh, interior in the back half of the car. So that motor had been in a Bronco, uh, 67 Bronco, when I bought it and I pulled it out and sold the body and the rest of the parts and kept the motor because you got to have a 289. I've got three now. <laughs> All right, did a little cleaning in here. We're a little more ship shape. As ship shape as Sean will ever be. The furnace is back on. That means time to go and look at that. We are nine minutes and we're cutting you off. We'll see you on the next video. And hang around, there's more.